Hey, yo, Matt, happy Monday. Yo. Gear check, what you got? Oh, you know it's Monday, so I got the Magnum Monday, boy. Oh, snap. Yeah. Hey, yo, it's Tuesday. What you carrying today? Oh, it's Tiny Tuesday, so I got that oh, little piece snap. on me. Oh. Hey, yo, Wednesday. Gear check, what you got? Oh, is it Wednesday? I, I, know. Know. I knew it's Wednesday because it's, it's Wheel Gun Wednesday. Oh, oh. snap. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, yo, Matt, Thursday, what you carrying? Thursday's Thick Thursday. Thick Thursday. Oh, oh, Thick Thursday, we got that big boy. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, yo, Matt, full size Friday, what you got? You mean fire inside Friday? <laughs>
And then he made a super beefy boy woody protector, is what he said, patent pending. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll put that on the mannequin too. Next one is made by, it's, it's this one. It's made by Justin Schreiber. Schreiber. He says these are a sample of medium volt cable. So this is aluminum cable that is used to carry electricity. It has 0.345 mil insulation on each one. So you can see this clear stuff around it is the insulation and it's bonded with industrial adhesive and then duct taped around to hold them together. It's not super heavy because it is aluminum, but it's not light and it is very bulky. He said this represents about 45 minutes of R&D from the, his side businesses of BDN Tactical, BDN Tree Farm, and BDN Security. BDN stands above both of these nuts. We have your back and your sack. I just wanted to shout his company. I, come on, man, it's a family channel. But I just had to shout him out because he put 45 minutes of work into this. So, uh, Justin, appreciate you having my back. In, never mind. Uh, <laughs> thanks for sending it. Next up is made by Bryce, and he is a mechanical engineering student at Georgia Southern University, longtime fan of the channel. He's been working with 3D printers, and he found out about this new style of resin printing uh, that got his attention. He said it's harder than regular filament, does not melt, and much like glass, it's very hard and shatters instead of forming on impact. Here's the model he has that kind of shows on the inside. This white is the new 3D resin, and he put little spheres on top of the resin plate behind it because he said spheres are the strongest shape and so he's hoping they'll kind of deform or make the bullet start to tumble then behind it he has this black layer of hdpe plastic which is what car bumpers and door panels and a bunch of automotive plastics are made out of he said not very strong not really bullet resistant but he's hoping it'll kind of also slow the bullet down and it's light and then behind that he has some kevlar so he's hoping these first two layers will make the bullet start tumbling slow it down tear it up and the kevlar will catch it it is light it's the lightest of all of these but we'll see what it can do there's a threat let me get out the backup 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 i normally keep one in the chamber i just hadn't yet okay so let's go ahead and load this bad boy we have um no suppressor on it right now uh, there's also uh, no sights. You can look down the top of this thing. There's a groove right there, but because we have this threaded barrel up here, it, you can't even look down through the groove. So, not that you would on this, but let's see if I can hit it. I'm gonna try to hit this metal spinner. I actually hit it. Yeah, I hit it at the bottom. And then, let's see, we need to reload. Sweet, that's actually way easier than the last one. The last one was kinda, after you fired it, Got a little stuck, but this one just pops right out. The barrel does look different. That's tiny. All right, I'm gonna aim a little higher. <laughs> Dead center, because I'm such a good shot with this. One more, and then I think we'll put a suppressor on this thing and try it out, because that's what I really came here for. <laughs> Sweet, three hits. Let's suppress this bad boy. I still feel like I'm doing something bad whenever I screw on a suppressor on YouTube. But it's fine now. This is the Erector 22 from Q, and it is the full length version. Um, this one we can make smaller, so we probably will after this. But let's see how quiet she is. I'm gonna shoot with no ears. These are supersonic bullets too, they're not subs. But I don't know if it actually gets supersonic in this little tiny barrel, it probably doesn't, but that was very quiet. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna shoot into the dirt this time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's do the smallest version of this suppressor. So we just took out all the middle baffles. And so we have, I think this is like a two baffle suppressor now. I just figured this would fit way better. Look how cute it is, a little stubby. All right, let's shoot this. We'll see if it's quiet or not. Dirt, actually let's hit, let's hit metal. Very quiet. <laughs> All right, let me do one more. Cause you know, that first shot, you always get that first round pop, you know? So it's, that's gone now. So it should be quiet. Okay. Very loud. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the other baffles back in to make this thing quiet. All the other baffles. You guys know we had to do it. The 69 baffle, 22 long rifle suppressor. Let's just see what it would look like uh, folded up. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, let me go ahead and keep her concealed, you know, just to not scare anybody while I'm going to movie theaters and walking around, just keep my family safe, you know. Hey, fellas, how are y'all doing today? Yeah, good seeing y'all. Nice, nice to see you. That was a completely unloaded gun. Let's see what it sounds like and hope it doesn't explode. That was interesting, it released, or I released it. It was super quiet and I heard a hit down there but I did not hit what I was aiming at. Not that I was really aiming, but let's see if it releases again. That was weird. Oh! Yeah, it's like, there's so much weight on it, I think. Not used to this. Yeah, if you push hard enough, it'll close itself. Okay, um, that actually works great. Let's shoot one more, just so we can see how quiet it is when you shoot it in the dirt. Now that we got through that first round snap. Go. I think we're wearing out the mechanism. <laughs> we may have broken this gun. Already? It stinks when your erection, erect, erector won't stay up. Going at the first plate, which is kind of getting a little saggy, but that's okay. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead at the uh, the woody protector, which I'm not sure if I'm going to actually hit with this thing because it is totally behind the suppressor in my sight picture here. So I'm, I'm guessing if I miss it, I miss it. We're going to move on. I think I missed. Now let's go for... Plate number two on our middle friend over here. And, whoops. And plate number three out of the life card 22. Keep your hands up, bro. Our first one looks like it went in right there and came out right here. Yeah, there's chunks of ceramic right here. So total stop, that one did great. Uh, we missed the woody protector by about five inches somehow. Too bad. This one hit a little to the left, but did not go through either. Actually, yeah, right there. Didn't go through. Looks like some pieces actually came out here, so, and there. It looks like it went in, pieces shot out this way. That one. Success. This one went straight in the middle, did not go through. He is safe as well. We gotta move it up. Now for the pivot. And we put a primary arms SLX RS10 red dot on the top of it. And actually uh, I shot off camera the first couple shots and it just happened to be on. So we didn't even have to adjust it. So let's shoot it a little bit and see. But this. It is interesting. I mean, it really, when you look at it, it only makes the gun eight inches shorter than it would be. You have a little mag hiding right there. You got a slap, and then we're good to go. No suppressor on it right now. Safety was on, though. And uh, this takes Glock mag. So it's a Glock 9mm mag, Glock 19 mag. But that means you can also put bigger Glock mags in. We also put an Osprey 9 on there. I have not fired this thing suppressed yet. So we'll see. We have a longer Glock mag. Let's see what it sounds like. Let me try with my ears on first. Shooting the dirt. So these are supers. I'm getting a little ring. It's still not quiet, but we're not shooting subs. A little bit of gas coming out, but not bad. <laughs> huh. 
hundred yards. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I mean a thousand yards. Sweet. This actually seems like kind of a good gun. I don't know how practical it is, but it does do what it says it does. We've shot probably now with the practice rounds before we started filming, I'm gonna say 50 rounds through it and it's run really good and uh, seems pretty accurate. Okay, uh, we're gonna take this silly suppressor off and put a regular one back on. Um, but it did work. This stupid suppressor actually does work. We did experience a couple failures uh, with that that drum mag, but otherwise, uh, this thing's been great. And the drum mag, I think, kind of messes up in some of our other guns too. We have some more nine millimeter. These are supersonic, going at guy number one. And now, at the Woody Protector. That was a good hit. Now the dude in the center. And old homeboy who's protecting his lower abdomen with his plate. Whoop! He almost fell. Let's go check it out. So it went in right there, which is about where the 22 went in, and looks like it came out here. Nothing came out the back. He is good to go. The Woody Protector went in right here and shot it out the side. His right leg and his middle leg completely safe. Number two, same deal. Went in here. Looks like it hit this first one. Uh, there's no damage on his backside. He has a perfect backside. This one. I kind of wondered if this one would go through, but nope, nothing. Backside of that looks amazing as well. You're supposed to wear your armor higher, dude. Just helping you out, bro. It looks like we got to move up to something a little bigger. He has a, I didn't even see this. He wants us to shoot a 760 by 39 here or something else. I'd... We're gonna shoot something there, guaranteed. Level 3A goes up to 44 Magnum. So we have here a Raging Bull. 44 Magnum. So we will see if these things are indeed level 3A. They should be, well these first two I think will be. Oh, that hit him hard. All right, let's just go ahead and shoot him where the sun don't shine. Youch. Number two. Number three. Let's go see what we got. I can see bullet in this thing. Dude. Did it go through? It didn't go through, it did stop. It looks like it just smashed through that tile first layer and stopped on the steel. That one works, it's heavy, but it works. This one looks like it hit in the same spot. as the, It like hit in the exact same spot as the nine um, and split these apart, but did not go through. Stopped it. This one hit dead center. Dude, this one stopped too. Yeah, there's nothing in the backside. Aluminum stopped it. This one hit low. 
and stopped it. Dude. All of these plates are level 3A at least, which is good because they're all pretty thick. If they didn't even stop a 40 Magnum or that thick, not good. Let's move it up to a rifle round and then we'll really see what is what. Springfield Hellion, 5.56. Five, uh, so it's fast. It's moving fast. We'll see what it does to these plates. Hmm, I don't know. Oh man, see if we can hit this little thing. It's tiny, should be bigger. Got it. Okay, place your guesses in the comment section below. Do you think that we got uh, any 556 five, through or do you think they all stopped them? Is it just me or is this thing get longer? <laughs> all right. Not us, pal. <laughs> uh, went in right here. Looks like more came out around where that 22 went in. Dude, it, I think it stopped it. Yeah, there's nothing in the back side of this. So I actually had never thought about leaf springs being hardened steel and bulletproof, but looks like the combination of ceramic tile and leaf springs is a pretty good one. This one you can actually see, he put, looks like two layers of tile on top of the leaf spring. Uh, we busted through right there coming to the tile and you can see where that bullet hit leaf spring and did not even dent that metal. So crotch protector, good to go. This one, we're going in right here, right in the center one. Dude, it looks good too. Oh wait, nope. There is, there is some damage here. I think it's just not much. Oh yeah, he got a new belly button ring. So that's where our 556 five, came out, right there. And cracked him. Oh look, you can see where it tried to come through. Right there. So barely anything. That one, I'm gonna say, that one counts as a stop. It would have gone in your skin, but not far. It could have killed you, but probably wouldn't. It's probably fine. It's probably you still could die of infection. We'll go one more on this one. And this little guy right here. Oh yeah. Right through the Kevlar. Right out the butt cheek. So this one is a fail. That one is level 3A, but no more. This one, I'm gonna say it, it, it could, we're gonna give it a pass just so we can keep going. This one's still in. Next up is this little guy, our EBR. 308, so if it's level three, it'll stop this. If it's not, it will not. Coming in hot on the first plate on the left. Let's just see if we can hit his junk too. Well, I can tell that first one went through because he has a hole in his chest. All right, and our middle guy. Shot his arm off. <laughs> Let's go see if our middle guy survived because the guy on the left did not. Okay, let's see if the first one did anything. Dude, actually, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't really know how, but there's no holes in his backside. Oh, I know what happened. That is a problem with when you have like shelves. So our strike base is like this. It went in here and angled those bullet fragments all straight up at him like this. I mean, it didn't go through. You can see these hits. We have direct hits. Look at those big holes coming through hitting this thing and nothing made it through, but it just shot all those fragments this way, ripping all of his skin off and probably would have shot it all into his face. Actually looks okay. He's got some scratches, but uh, that I would say, I mean, it's less deadly than a 308 going into your chest, but possibly still deadly. Dude, and it freaking worked. It shot it all sideways again, so same deal. Tons of splatter, but nothing went through. And it chewed up his skin on his leg. I mean, he's got chunks of metal in him, but no bullet in him. I don't think he's gonna bleed out from the leg wound. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's dead. That's why they call it 308. So here's where it came out. Let's open this up and see. Dude, it looks like a pipe bomb in here. I wonder if we even hit 
any of the metal. It's looking like it's coming out sideways here, so I think it was just hitting metal and bouncing around, but either way, uh, giant pieces of bullet went straight through his chest. This one is the closest to being level three. It, I guess it technically is level three, but it shoots fragments at you. The junk protector worked. The junk protector did work. Our winner today is Mark Olivier. Hooray. <laughs> uh, Mark, we're gonna send you a uh, little, little Demo Ranch merch care package for your hard work uh, chopping up. I mean, think about it. That was actually probably a lot of work, chopping up leech springs. Good job, bro. Thank you to Trailblazer Firearms for sending us some of your very unique weapons. It's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Demos Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. I can't hear you. Say that again. All I'm getting is static. Hello? Hold, hold on, let me get my bigger antenna. Can you hear me now? Good.